దేశంలోనే క్షిపణి కార్యక్రమాలకు నేతృత్వం వహించిన మొట్టమొదటి మహిళ టెస్సి థామస్ మూడు వేల కిలోమీటర్ల అగ్ని త్రీ అంతకు మించిన అగ్ని ఫోర్ ఐదు వేల కిలోమీటర్ల సామర్థ్యంతో వచ్చిన అగ్ని ఫైవ్ అసోసియేట్ ప్రాజెక్టు డైరెక్టర్ గా మొదలైన ఈ ప్రయాణంలో అనతి కాలంలోనే అణ్వస్త్ర సహిత అగ్ని కీలకకు దిశానిర్దేశం చేసే పూర్తి బాధ్యతలు ఆమె చెంతకు చేరాయి నిప్పులు చిమ్మకుంటూ నింగి కెగిసిన క్షిపణి శక్తితో పాటే మహిళా కీర్తి పతాకను అంతెత్తున నిలిపారు అందుకే అగ్ని ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ ప్రాజెక్టుల ఎక్సలెన్సీ అవార్డు నాయుడమ్మ ఇండియన్ ఉమెన్ పురస్కారాలు సహా గౌరవ డాక్టరేట్ ను పొందారు ఎన్నో అడ్డు గోడలను బద్దలు కొట్టిన ధీశాలిగా స్వయాన ప్రధానమంత్రి ప్రశంసలు అందుకున్నారు అగ్నిపుత్రి టెస్సి థామస్ ఈ ఒక్క మాట చాలు ఆమెంటో ఆమె స్థాయి సత్తా ఏంటో చెప్పడానికి దేశంలోనే కాదు యావత్ ప్రపంచంలో ఎక్కడికి వెళ్లినా వేరే పరిచయం అవసరం లేదు దశాబ్దాలుగా అతడే ఆధిపత్యం చెలాయిస్తున్న క్షిపణి రంగంలో ఆమె రాకే సంచలనం అడ్డుగోడలన్నీ దెబ్బతోత్తునా తునకలయ్యాయి వ్యూహాత్మక ఆయుధ సామాగ్రి అణ్వస్త్రాల విభాగంలో తనదైన చెరగని ముద్ర వేశారు ఖండాంతరాల్లోని శత్రువుల గుండెల్లో వణుకు పుట్టించే అగ్ని క్షిపణి కార్యక్రమానికి సారథి కావడమంటే ఆషామాషి విషయమా మరి కేరళ నుంచి ఎగిసిన ఈ నిప్పు కణిక నేతృత్వంలోనే ఆ శత్రు భయంకర క్షిపణులకు ఇప్పుడు పదును పెడుతున్నారు భారత క్షిపణి కార్యక్రమ పితామహుడు భారతరత్న అబ్దుల్ కలాం అడుగు జాడల్లో అతి తక్కువ కాలంలోనే ఇన్ని కోట్ల మందికి తను స్ఫూర్తి జ్వాల అవుతుందని ఎవరూ అనుకోలేదు And first of all, uh, I wish you a very happy Women's Day from me and from the side of ETV also. So how are you feeling and how is your experiences in DRDO? Thank you and it has been uh, really wonderful to be in uh, part of DRDO and working for this national program. So you have been as a director for Agni 4, I, I hope. And you have worked all the Agni series. So how is the experience? Because it's a very big project so how are you feeling yeah i started my career with the mission and guidance uh, designer and then uh, became the project director of agni 4 and uh, dealing with all the missions of uh, agni 1 to agni 5 and uh, it's uh, it's a r- a really an challenging job as far as uh, this missions are concerned each mission goes through a finite time period of development and uh, testing Uh, it's an excellent feel uh, that when we do things and it works with our indigenous capability and systems that is what gives us the happiness that we are doing something for the country if somebody calls you agni putri or missile woman of india how you feel what is your opinion on that i'm happy as far as it is uh, uh, the agni uh, agni putri and the agni missile woman all names came because of uh, the work the field in which i was working and the day starts with the missiles and they ends with the missiles so that is where i feel uh, I'm, i'm grateful that i got the opportunity to work with drdo okay where is the starting point of your career in drdo and how you get the opportunity here yeah i did my btech and then applied for a drdo sponsored mtech program uh, then joined for the mtech in dit pune and then came over to our drdo lab then headed by Uh, director as A- dr apj abdul kalam so he has put me in i came with the navigation and guidance background so he has put me in the, to work for the new program which was coming up for the agni and the, that is how i started working for s- such program so you are working you have worked with uh, abdul kalam sir also so how was the experience yeah he has a man of great vision and uh, always guided us towards knowledge he always believed in uh, sharing the knowledge and we had all expert forums where in which we could learn things across from the scientist he has been treating us whether we were junior or senior uh, at par with knowledge wise he was uh, uh, treating all of us equal that openness that is what we have learned from him to share knowledge and learn more and more along with agni you have worked with some other projects so Well, and that is the all, overall right now i'm looking after the director as a lab uh, where in which we have the total solid propulsion systems 
the total mechanisms and pyro mechanisms all for the missile complex that activity has been taken up as our uh, responsibility. So, we work for uh, it is an interleaved uh, complex a missile complex works for all multiple uh, missile programs. So, we interact each other with the avionics lab, the RCA and the DRDL lab. So, that is where uh, we coexist and uh, does our job. What is about your childhood because are you a uh, crazy girl or you are a serious girl? At your yeah, childhood, I was, yeah, I was a common girl like any other school child, was enjoying my school life and then uh, came for the engineering. I was, yes, I was interested in mathematics and uh, science, so that uh, would have led me towards the engineering. And then thereafter, uh, as I said, I got the opportunity to do an MTech program in guided missiles. That was my starting and then uh, with the DRDO. Who is the person supported you to start your career here with the family or uh, professionally? Uh, of course, uh, joining for the engineering and all within my family, that is my father and my mother. They were the motivators and uh, all of us were given the equal education. So, all my sister and brother, all of them have come up with education. So, within Kerala that uh, is there that every uh, family, the children are uh, more and more educated. What are the opportunities for the young women in DRDO and to work with these big projects? Yeah, I joined DRDO when there was uh, only a 3 percent uh, strength and today it is moving from uh, 12 to 15 and even in some of the labs uh, close to 20 percent. So, DRDO has lot of opportunities. It is the willingness and the determination of an individual uh, to uh, contribute there are there will be challenges and we should be uh, uh, bold enough to face the challenges then you are there with the work what are the early ch challenges have you faced in your career no because whatever technology we are dealing whatever work we are been assigned it is all totally new work which we have to uh, develop uh, design develop and prove and test it takes its own time period and the effort what we have to put to get this new technologies proven. That is a massive uh, technical effort and collective approach within the teamwork. So, you have to be involved in all the things that is that type of a challenge comes. So, we, sh we should not give up with uh, some small uh, issues and problems what we face in every work field. So, you are bold enough to get uh, uh, more and more knowledge and then once you are knowledgeable, you will be able to achieve what you want. What are the things you want to complete a flight trial successfully? Flight trial as I said from starting from design then uh, integration of the systems and uh, it is uh, this technology is to do with a uh, lot of uh, criticality in and complexity in integration and testing. So, a single strand gives away then we are in problem. So, we have to be the quality is that most uh, requirement and uh, uh, quality and uh, uh, giving importance to quality and the work what is to be completed criticality. Each has to be each individual working for it has to know the importance of their systems and that is how we have to we have an integration and work proceeds for more than a month uh, within uh, while a launch happen. So, total integrated effort makes this uh, system success that is what we all aim it is development design and then uh, proving the things that is what it matters. And it is costly affair hmm. we know all that. So, how you manage the things because if one missile will be failed the project all the project people and the thing and goes there lossing. Will lot, there will lossing. be lot of uh, demotivation or uh, it is depression or what you call that is why when we put uh, importance to the quality of the work. So, if once the quality is streamlined and people work together to get uh, achievements that is where full effort is put towards a correct system to come up that is what uh, we all work. Failures uh, sometimes do happen in the part of the development and once we have come to a delivery state and all it becomes technology becomes matured and uh, that uh, with the quality in place things happen well. Okay, You have been there in DRDO from long time. So, have you managed your personal life and the professional life? 
Because as a mother or a Yeah, wife. initial phase of when the child was uh, small enough to go to school and uh, coming towards that uh, 11th, 12th and whether he should go for an engineering. That is the toughest time period where we had to spend uh, more effort thinking what would be the right. A lot of balance between the career and the home friend had to be done. Yes, there was uh, support as well as then uh, we had to adjust between uh, some compromise, some adjust, some help from the relatives, all together, put together, we could make it happen. That yeah. comes, uh, it's a face of every woman who is a working uh, woman has to put more effort and challenges has to be faced. So, do you think that the number of women working for the different systems of India and the other countries are equal or there is any less number in our country or some other, when compared to the developed countries? Yeah, we do here scientific field, our uh, Indian um, uh, women scientists are yet to come up. They come to a level of uh, degree and all, then getting into a pure scientific research, the numbers are less, but improving. If you compare last 10 years before and today, the lot of improvement and that women are uh, bold enough to face the challenges today and they are highly qualified. And within DRDO, we have many uh, leaders who are women leaders and that shows they are all uh, coming up with all the challenges and facing them well and pro proving to be achievers. What the projects you are dealing in future, you are going to deal? They are of similar nature. DRDO uh, asked to us some do some work, we do that, that is as a future. Okay, finally, what the message you want to give for the youngsters, particularly young women, to become, uh, to achieve something in their own fields or they want to achieve something in some fields. So what the message you want to give for on the occasion of Women's Day? Yeah, yeah one need to be determined, what do you want to be and you have to put your 100% into that um, channel of your field and then work for it, you will definitely be a winner, that is what the message and uh, today the opportunities are more and more for women. And you should tap that opportunity and come up in life. That's what my message is to you. Thank you, ma'am. And Maru Maru, ETV Tharpanamik Prachekang Antarjati Mahila Dinosu Subhakangshilu. Thanks a lot. Mahilalu Erangal Lone Rani Chalante Pattudala Unte Chalu Var Tappakunda Vijayani Sadhin Charu Sadhin Chagalaru Anna Viswasani Vekthan Chesnaru Scientist Tessie Thomas Karu.